Last week, these two men were unexpected partners in our main event, Jonathan Feltner. This week, they're against each other with the number one contendership for the Anarchy Heavyweight title hanging in the grass. I'm telling you, both men in the past have staked their claim to being the number one contender for the Anarchy Wrestling Heavyweight title. Of course, Billy Buck, he was champion. He worked his way from the bottom to the top. It was stripped from him, mired in controversy, no doubt about it. So I think that he may be just a little bit hungrier in this match to get back to B.J. Hancock and regain a title that he really never lost. Well, he had that opportunity last week in our main event. Lars Manderson interfering, bringing out the Lethal Dose Strict Nine to help out Billy Buck, turning our heavyweight title match into tag team action. So Billy Buck in that tag team main event last week got the pinfall on B.J. Hancock, which could, in my mind, puts him already in line for that championship match because he holds a non-title victory over the current champion. You would think that it would work out that way, but whenever you're in an anarchy and you're competing and you're trying to get on the top of that anarchy wrestling mountain, you've got more than one guy always gunning for it, and the next guy in line is the Lethal Dose Strict Nine in the committee's mind, and he wants that shot too, so you got these two men. You're going to find out who, whenever a victory is decided in this match, one of these men will be in line for that title shot. They'll get their opportunity against the modern classic B.J. Hancock here in the next couple of weeks on Anarchy Television. You know, either match, you know, B.J. Hancock has history with Strict Nine. He's got history with Wild Billy Buck. Both of those superstars, not just for the heavyweight title, but just to get their hands on Hancock. A thing that I noticed tonight in our opening contest for that Young Lions Championship is that even no matter who wins this match, they're already going to be at a disadvantage because you've seen how Rachel and her goons, rather, played a direct part in Joey Reimer keeping that Young Lions title. So whoever gets in this match, they're, gonna, they're not only going to have to worry about B.J. Hancock, they're going to have to worry about Joey Reimer, Lars Manderson, and their manager, Miss Rachel. It's amazing to see how well these two know one another. They've been good friends for a long time. They almost can guess what the next move is going to be from their opponent. What are you doing over there? I'm not exactly sure, to be honest with you. Are you paging aliens or something? I think that there's some, some spooks in the building tonight. The belt taken off. D. Byers trying to find security. All spare and love in championships. You've got that right. I don't know if D. Byers is aware. Well, just what isn't seen isn't illegal. I don't think the fans were too too displeased with it. Well, they know what's on the line in this contest. You know, it's not just that opportunity. One of these two men could be the next heavyweight champion. B.J. Hancock, though, I mean, he is, even if it's a questionable role, he is on a roll right now defending that championship. So it's going to be an interesting pairing up whether or not Billy Buck or Strick Nine do win this match. You know, Billy Buck looking to become a two-time heavyweight champion. Strick Nine would be looking for his first championship belt. Well, with the heavyweight title, I should say. Yes. Do you think that might play a big card in the part of somebody being a little bit hungrier than the other person? Strict Nine's never tasted Anarchy Heavyweight Gold. Billy Buck's already been a champion. Maybe that might make the drive behind Strict Nine's force just a little bit stronger than Billy Buck's. Absolutely. You want that? You have that desire to be the champion. Strict Nine wants to be the 18th man to hold this heavyweight championship in the you know nearly 10-year history of the championship. Already 17 men have held the Anarchy title. 17 men. 17. Wow. That is an impressive stat. That just shows you how many people worked their way up in this company to be the Anarchy Wrestling Heavyweight Championship, how important it is to Anarchy Wrestling. You know, that's 17 champions in nine years. Think of how many promotions are out there that have had 17 champions in just one year. That just shows you the, time, the kind of quality talent that we have here at Anarchy and just the impressive forces that they have and how much men fight. 17 champions over nine years, that's pretty impressive. Drop kick by Billy Buck goes in for the cover. One, two, and a kick out at two. Again, if you're just joining us, this match, the Lethal Dose Strict Nine versus Wild Billy Buck is to determine a number one contender for the Anarchy Heavyweight Championship held by BJ Hancock, a belt that was handed to him after Wild Billy Buck had to forfeit the championship. Billy Buck wants to get that title back. Would love another match against B.J. Hancock. Look at them chops. Back and forth. That is two men in this business that I've seen personally that you do not want to get in the chop fight with, Billy Buck or Strychnine. 
both men will tear the hide right off your chest. You know, as I said, the winner of this bout is going to meet B.J. Hancock. I'm sure B.J. Hancock is watching this match, but he's got other thoughts on his mind, too, this week on the program. It's coming up in just a little bit. He's going to be teaming with Lars Manderson to try to become a, two, a double champion here and go after the tag team titles. He could very well leave here with a lot more gold than he came with. He could. He's going to leave the Anarchy heavyweight champion regardless, but he could also leave with one half of those tag team titles. But that's not going to be easy for Hancock or Manderson. Well, for the cover, as it seems here in the past couple of broadcasts, it seems like Todd Sexton and Bobby Moore have been getting a little bit more cohesive than they have in the past. They, they really have, and what a night this could be for Miss Rachel. When all is said and done, she could manage three of the four championships here at Anarchy. That's a lot of power. That is a lot of power. The only title she would be missing would be that television title currently held by Tommy Petarelli. Here we go into the tourniquet. He's got it locked in. Brent, this could be all. If he submits, Strict Nine will be the number one contender for the heavyweight title. In true anarchy fashion, the crowd chanting for the submission. They love submission wrestling here in Georgia. They always have. They like to see you bleed, and they like to see bones break, and you get hurt. That's what they like. Buck spins around. Could be a figure four. Check this out. Figure four is applied. Billy Buck, you'll notice, is closer to the ring ropes, makes it further for Strict Nine to have to travel to break the hold. His best bet at this point is to try to roll over and reverse the pressure. I think Strict Nine's biting his fingers to try to take his mind off the pain. I can only imagine what kind of pain that puts your legs in being locked in that hold as expertly as Billy Buck has it locked in right now. Well, the slap to the face breaks the hold. Not exactly scientific, but it works. Ducks the clothesline. Ducked by Billy Buck. Oh, oh, clothesline. Oh. Takes down both superstars. Both men knocked out. You realize if Deep Byers counts to 10, we'll have no number one contender? BJ Hancock will have a very easy couple of weeks. No, no, no contender. Unless he wins the tag team titles, then he may have a title defense coming up. This is true. That'll take a lot of stress off of him in that tag team match knowing if he didn't have a number one contender for his, his title. We're at eight, and D. Byers is going to stop the count. Both men back up to their feet. Big elbow by Billy Buck. And another takes Strict Nine down. Has him in the ropes. Whip off, reversal by Strict Nine. Duck, big boot into the neck breaker. Going in for the cover, will it be it? Only a two. It's been an awesome back and forth contest between these two men. Like you said, they know each other pretty much like the back of their hand. They've been so involved with each other over the past couple of weeks here in Anarchy Wrestling. Big boot by Strict Nine. Comes charged right into the Samoan drop by Billy Buck. Cover made one, two. And again, only a two count. The crowd really kind of divided here this week on who they want to be the number one contender for the heavyweight title. Both men have their strong supporters. Oh, there we go, the Alabama slam. One, two. Kicked out again, Brett. That was a smart move by Strict Nine because he went after the neck of Billy Buck. That neck was injured by Hancock prior to the rib injury that eventually cost him the championship. You know, that pile driver of Hancock's, we saw it take out Slim J earlier on in the program. Straight nine, getting poised for a spear, and you can hear the crowd chanting, Spear, could this be it? Wait, the roll up! Wait a minute, he's got him! He's got, oh! Kick out at two. His hand was like merely inches away from slapping the canvas, Brett. We almost had a number one contender and a spine buster. I think D. Byers may have left a fingerprint on that near three count before, and again, only a two count. Good grief, what a match. This could almost be a main event, Brett. It really could. Wait a minute, going for the buckshot. He's named this kick newly the buckshot. Well, the gun is loaded. Will he be able to fire it off? It ducks it. Wait a minute. Uh-oh, FFD face first down. 
One, two, and again only a two. Good God, Brett. Fans have got their hands on their faces and in awe that this match is continuing. That gave me goosebumps, Brett. Wow. This has been a heck of a match to determine a number one contender. B.J. Hancock, I think at this point, it doesn't matter who wins. You know he's got to be worried. He's got to be in trouble because one of these men will be his opponent. Strict nine possibly getting lined up for the spear. Billy Buck having to use the ropes to get up. I'm telling you. Oh, the buck shot! Holy cow! Good God! One, two, got in. Oh, oh God, he kicked out again! He hit the buck shot, Brent, and he kicked out! I can't believe the impact on that. Did you hear that? It was like a shotgun going off. A buck shot, if you will. A buck shot, exactly. Wait a minute, here comes PJ Hancock. I think he's seen enough. D. Byers, question number. Knocks the modern classic to the floor. Wait a minute. There's a spear. Oh, not this way. One, two, three. Your winner of the match and the number one contender to the Anarchy Heavyweight Championship, the Lethal Dose, Strychnine. Jonathan Felder, I don't even know if Strychnine's aware the Hancock was out here. That is, that is a darn shame that a match like that, that was so good, had to be decided because of the interference of B.J. Hancock. That is crap. Hancock may have just picked his own poison for the heavyweight title because now he's going to have to defend that title against the lethal dose. Strict night. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just been informed that at our next TV taping on the 27th of September for the Anarchy Wrestling Heavyweight title, the modern classic BJ Hancock will defend against the Lethal Dose Strychnine. Well, there you have it, our next television taping. It will be Hancock versus Strychnine with the heavyweight title on the line.